Okay, it's time to uh, sort out a bit of this wiring. Um, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it, really? You can buy ribbon cables, which might have been an idea. Although these are all, you know, at least I haven't got sold or anything. But I just need to sort of try and uh, tidy all this up. It's, it's a bit of a crow's nest, <laughs> a rat's nest. Um, the board itself, I think it's going to have to be sort of mounted there and sort of there. Um, that won't be a problem. But right, I'm going to uh, go, into, we're going to fast forward mode again and just going to zip tie all, this, uh, all these wires up, just get it all looking a little bit neater, alright? Well, there you go. That's the idea anyway. I, I don't know if it looks any better. <laughs> what do you reckon? I think it is a bit better, isn't it? Time this all uh, sort of goes into the board. Um, I think it's a little bit tidy. It's still, a, I think in hindsight, and hindsight is a lovely thing, isn't it? In hindsight, I suppose I, I, could, do, I, I could have maybe um, have lined all these up better, you know, when I sort of put the switches in. Could have... Uh, Possibly lined them all up the same, you know. I don't know. It's, well, maybe I'm being a bit anal. It look, might have looked, it might have looked a bit better if I'd done that. Um, still tempted to do it, to be honest. It's just, just me. Maybe I'm a bit kind of uh, compulsive in that respect. But I think it might look a little bit neater if I did that. But anyway, that's got all of that side done, and now I need to all this side. I won't show you me doing this side because it's all uh, basically the same. Um, but I think I'm right, I'm going to need to get on and uh, just do that now. Right, as you can see, I've got the uh, I've got the boards on. Now, when it comes to connecting these little uh, switches, I still really don't know. I've got 12 little um, slots, if you like, and I imagine that the board's got a very, very tiny little microprocessor there, and it must have some sort of flash ROM type memory. So, I'm thinking that it doesn't really matter where you put these switches in what order because when you program this via the software you know it'll be button rec button recognition it'll say choose a button you'll press it and you'll configure it in the software so well that's the theory that's what I'm hoping anyway but anyway I got the board on so I just need now to uh, connect up these so we're gonna zip forward again because you don't want to watch that in real time I guess that's looking a little bit neater. I'll have to uh, wait until I watch it back on the video when I do the editing. But there you go, that's all of the uh, push button switches in. Obviously I've got the ones at the, the front to go. And uh, lots of other little connectors that I'm not entirely sure what they're for. And I'm assuming that this one on the end is the uh, is the USB, well, sorry, is the multi-connector for the uh, joystick. And I imagine the USB one goes in now. I'll have to double check that before I wire it up. So, basically, other than uh, I've got some decent countersunk little kind of like bolts on order to neaten that up a little bit. But basically, that's the main control panel, uh, you know, done. And uh, it feels quite nice, actually. So, currently I've got it configured that these buttons will, or should, I keep saying will, but they, still should, they should light up as you press them. You can have them alight all of the time if you want to go for the full kind of blitz look. Um, but if you want to do that then you, you basically you need to um, pull out these wires and you need to change the order on the uh, connectors there so that these are on all of the time. But I think for now that's, uh, that's the board done. Um, so the next thing now, I've got to go back and I've got to start doing the software. And as I explained before, the software does take quite a long time. Um, so things sort of slow down a bit on the videos for that. And uh, unfortunately, um, I need to, I've need come to the stage where I need to purchase some software now. So I'm going to have to sort of spend a little few pennies um, 
onto some software so I'll show you that and then hopefully we can get some games working and uh, you know we can sort of program these these buttons and everything's fine I will need to upgrade to Windows 7 at some point as well so yeah quite a lot of sitting down at the computer doing the software and everything I've got that, got Simply Austin's guide to help me um, but as I say the video it will slow down a little bit so uh, that'll be uh, that'll be coming up next back again now working with the, um, the software side of the installation following the Simply Austin's guides which are really 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 good well um, first time I had to buy something and I can't moan because so far everything has been totally free and uh, I'm on the Hyperspin website here and to proceed uh, with the installation video that he's doing and also to make things a lot easier apparently you do need to invest a little cash here and on the Hyperspin website you do need to join the uh, Hyperspin community and buy a platinum membership. Cost fifty dollars, uh, thirty-five pounds fifty-four. I think I paid, and uh, so I've done that. But that is for life. That means that any time I come back here, I've uh, I've got that for life. And so the next thing I need to join up now is the EU EMU Movies dot com. Um, I think that's going to cost thirty dollars for a year's subscription or sixty dollars for a lifetime subscription. I'll probably go for the year because I don't know quite how things were going to pan out with this project. So uh, that's, uh, 50, that's $80 in total. Um, yeah, a little bit of an outlay I suppose. Probably around about or oh, £55 I suppose. So yeah, that is one thing you know, you know, this project. If you want to get these, in, these software these, to make things easy to install there is going to be a little bit of an outlay unfortunately. I mean you know, compared to the price of the cabinet and everything else it's relevant um, but you're not going to get everything totally for free um, so you need to bear that in mind. So anyway I'm going to go on to emumovies.com now and I'm going to register an account and hopefully join their site for a year and then I can continue with the second part of Simply Austin's video. So uh, as promised I did say that I would show you any problems that you encounter and um, following on with the software I'm now trying to register at uh, emumovies.com um, I'm going to go for the $30 annual yearly subscription the problem I've got is trying to uh, validate my login details I, I actually created an account about two o'clock this afternoon and it's now four o'clock and I've done this re resend validation email I've done this about four times now um, no email coming through I have checked my email address um, on numerous occasions and yeah I've got the email address right but no no validation coming through so I think until I can validate, I can't move on with the uh, with the software, unfortunately, um, which is a bit of a pain. But it's just another another thing that's kind of holding you know holding stuff up. I don't know. I've gone onto the forums part of this site, and you know in the general discussions, I can't see any reason. There's, there's no one else kicking and screaming, uh, saying that they can't get a verification. So I don't know. It's a little bit. Uh, it's unusual. Normally these these you know these forums and things when you look when you log on to them. Um, normally they send it through in a matter of uh, matter of seconds, really. So a little frustrating. Another little uh, part of frustration. Right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to push on, even though they won't send this confirmation email through. I'm going to end up. I'm going to purchase emumoviesmovies.com uh, just for a year. I'm just going for the year. And uh, one thing that's important is the um, discount you can get. You see that uh, seven dollars fifty. When you subscribe to Hyperspin uh, for the fifty dollars to get the premium account, you get a voucher, and that gives you twenty-five percent off your emumovies.com. 
So that's thirty dollars for the first year, and then you get seven fifty off, so twenty two dollars fifty, which isn't a lot of money to be honest. Um, and then if you're going to keep with this, then the next year it drops down to twenty dollars. But so just so just remember, because I know it's a few people have done this the other way round. They've they've gone to emumovies.com and then they've registered, and then they've gone to Hyperspin, uh, and of course they've already paid. So it's only seven fifty dollars. You know what's that? Four four fifty pounds or something. But if you're, if you're following this video, make sure you do the hyperspin first, and then you come on to Emu Movies. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to register this. Hopefully this will get me into the download section and I can get a little bit more of the video, uh, a bit more of the tutorial done and get a little bit more of this stuff installed. Um, if it all snarls up and waits for that email confirmation, then yeah, I'm pretty buggered, in I? But I'm being, getting, being quite used to getting stuck with this, uh, this project. So, you know, there you go. We're going to uh, confirm my order here and we're going to crack on. Once again, we're following the Austin tutorial, and uh, we're currently in Hypersync, which uh, is getting all of the themes and uh, everything for our Hyperspin, our actual wheel setup on the arcade machine. I think I'm, I think I'm following him. I think I know. He, he does explain it very, very well, as I've said before. So that's currently just uh, all downloading now, so I can take a breather and. Uh, come across hopefully that, that that account I've set up um, is going to work in MU Movies. I'm still waiting for the email verification hasn't come through. Hoping that's going to not be an issue later on. So uh, yeah, all about sort of software again. You know, it's I say it does take a, it's, it's a lot of time it has to be spent in getting the software to work. Without the guide, it would be an amazing amount of time. Uh, but if you're going to build one of these machines, you know you've got to allow. Probably, I'm going to I'm going to say that you've probably got to allow as much time for the software configuration and downloading as to you know construct the cabinet if you're using a kit. Maybe even depending on your age and you know I'm an old guy and I do you know what I'm saying. But depending on you know your computer ability, but maybe even longer <laughs> to do the software. Um, you could probably put all this together in, in a full day if you really put your mind to it. So anyway, but at the moment everything's working okay. I'm, I'm quite happily download, downloading, and uh, so I'm hoping it's going to sort of continue that way. Right after a hell of a download session, I mean, it took me about two hours, but from Hyperlink we have now got into Hyperspin, and check it out. Check out all these these cart. Um, artworks that are now in the system absolutely loads and loads and loads of original car artwork these would have been the game cartridges that you would have put into the Nintendo Master System unbelievable I mean just check them out look load that one up can you see that I don't know if we can make that bigger doesn't look a lot does it but I'm um, fantastic and I've got the whole lot look absolutely all of them. Oh, I tell you, I'm made up with this. <laughs> I know it's. Uh, you, might, you might think it's pretty sad, but look at that one. Look as well. All of these are artworks that have all been put in here automatically. Fantastic. Well pleased with that. So yeah, I feel like I've uh, really starting to get somewhere. Look at them. Look, just load up. Just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of carts. Well, certainly a couple of hundred anyway. Fantastic, look at that. Unbelievable. So, uh, absolutely well made up with that download. Hello, hello, and welcome back. Right, and um, before I get sort of started on this video and, you know, start messing about with a cabinet, um, I'd like to apologise, really, because with comments that I get on videos I never seem to really acknowledge them do I when I make another video you know I just want to sort of get started if you like you know get all of the action sort of done on the cabinet and you know what I mean just sort of get it all done and I never really take the time to respond sort of vocally um, to the comments I always read every comment and you know your people that leave comments you'll know that mostly in the evenings and I'll sit down and I'll always sort of re reply to comments I really do appreciate getting some feedback on the channel, some ideas, um, you know, especially from people that uh, maybe have sort of done this thing in the past. There's a lot to learn. I'm, I'm learning all this from scratch. So I always appreciate the comments. And, uh, but I never sort of really give 
any acknowledgement, do I? So I'm, I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to put, put that right a little bit on this one. Um, firstly, I'd like to welcome back Charlie Oscar. Uh, you, I know you've been busy, mate. You've been away from the channel for uh, quite a few videos. So uh, always, a, you know, you were sort of a regular kind of like commenter before. And uh, yep, so nice to have you back, Charlie Oscar. It's always nice to see uh, new old friends return. A um, couple of comments on, I think it was video 8B, a couple of videos ago, which I, I, I sort of haven't actually replied for on video. Guy, um, Dark Blue Water said, when I was having trouble, you know with that PS, uh, PSU supply? You know, I, I ended up, oh, oh, that's what that was two, two, two videos was about, lots of hassle with that. Well, he said, well, you know, why don't you just put in a sort of a, a kettle wily just out the back of the, which, yeah, that, that would have been fine, actually. It was a very good, is a very good suggestion. But unfortunately, this cabinet, it's far more compact sort of round the back um, than I originally thought it would be. And I just haven't got the room, unfortunately. I want the door to sit quite flush at the back of the cabinet when everything's finished. And just want one power lead. So that's why I ended up doing that sort of hack, if you like. Well, cool. <laughs> now, come on, let's be honest. Doing that bodge of uh, soldering that lead in. So, yeah, I couldn't really use that idea. But, yeah, thanks for that. You know, it would have been a good idea if I'd have had the, uh, had the sort of space... And uh, another guy, Shondi12, I hope I've pronounced that right, Shondi12, um, really interesting guy actually, he's got his own YouTube channel and uh, very much into retro gaming and also retro cabinet restoring and he's doing a Pac-Man machine which is you know, the real McCoy, the sort of proper CRT monitor and you know it's a gen genuine thing and uh, yeah, he's good. He, he came up with uh, another good idea with my power management problem was to get one of those like type master plugs, you know, and sort of fit that in the back and then have everything on a separate plug and then you can just whack the whole thing off in one go. Fantastic idea, actually. Um, did think of that or something like that, but once again, you know, I just behind the back here, I uh, just haven't got the room. Um, everything is sort of uh, really, really sort of compact around there. Um, the P he mentioned the, P the power supply I've got. Yeah, it's not particularly good, I know, and, and I. I've got a feeling it's probably not going to take, uh, go the distance, to be honest, after looking at that dry joint that I had. So, might have to rethink my power management in the future. Um, for now, I'll stick with what I've got, you know, just sort of really want to get it kind of uh, working, <laughs> get it all going. Um, another guy, another new guy onto the channel, Retro Fuzz. Really quite strange, because he, he commented and said that he's got exactly the same cabinet, uh, bar top arcade cabinet. And he's, I think he's just a little bit further ahead than what I am. So, uh, yeah, really interesting. He hasn't, I don't think he's got any videos up at the moment, but he did offer to send me some pictures. Um, but, yeah, great. So, yep, yeah, stay with the channel, buddy, because, uh, you know, I might be picking your brains uh, in the future if I hit a problem. Um, but it's really nice that, you know, people are doing the sort of the same thing that's uh, out there. So, thanks for those guys. Thanks for all the regular guys. You know, the, you know the guys, Gary and Sean, the radio guys, okay? Uh, Tom, Tom, you're back, and uh, got you on Facebook now, Tom. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, thanks, thanks to all those uh, people that sort of just keep my enthusiasm going because the comments are really important, you know, because otherwise you lose momentum and you think, oh, yeah. so it's uh, that's really good. Now, if you've been following the channel, you'd have noticed that I've done a Fred in the Shed uh, Facebook page, well, Facebook profile, and uh, so I'd like to thank quite a few of you have gone on there and you've joined that. So I'd like to uh, start off with. Uh, Oh, Gary, we'll call you Gary S because I've got two Gary. So Gary S from uh, Skype, you know who you are. Steve Ellis is on there as well. Cheers, Steve. Um, one day I'll be able to. We'll get to talk to you on the radio. Andy Tobin. Yeah, nice to see you, Andy. Um, Andy was one of the first ones on there. Another Gary. I'll call him Gary L. Cheers to having you on board. Dave on there. Dave from the radio. Uh, yep, chat to Dave on the radio. And also Lewis who's uh, Ring, Ringway, who's got that really, really nice uh, radio receiver, which I'm really envious of his videos. Every time he puts that one up, I think, oh, that's really, really great. So thanks for all those guys that have uh, joined me on Facebook. Uh, anybody else on Facebook that wants to go along and take a look? The Facebook page is called Fred Shed. They wouldn't let me put Fred in the shed, unfortunately, but you'll see the, like, the usual sort of green logo with the shed hanging over the... Uh, side of the Swiss Alps, wherever it was, wherever I stole that from on the internet all, the, all that time ago. Right, okay, sorry, that's, that's that introduction out, sorry out of the way if that's bored the arse off you, but, uh, you know, needed to sort of get, get that out of the way. So, anyway, we're going to continue on with the cabinet. Um, I've got lots of, sort of, uh, software to uh, play around with, still following this Simply Austin's Guide, 
and really want to try and get the games fully working. Now, there are a couple of issues with that that I want to work through, and also you'll notice I've still got the crappy Windows XP screen on the uh, monitor there, so I really want to replace that with uh, Windows 7 and get that working. So that's all kind of really boring on video. I'm not going to sort of video myself sitting there and uh, playing about with the software because you don't want to see that because we want. But uh, anyway, right, that's the intro over. I'm going to get on and do some work on this now. And as always, guys, cheers, and I'll catch you on the next bit of video. Okay, so into Arcade Classics. No video preview, as we know. These should be all of my games. Go back, just go to sort of one we know works. Nine, we tried 1942, and I'm just. Okay, 1942. Launch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! What, 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 what? It won't find. It can't find the bloody. Cannot find C, then it goes into here. <sighs> Shit. Name. Current emulator list. Something's wrong, isn't it? Uh, select. So I've uh, resorted to asking Austin. I hate asking for help. Do you know what I mean? I try, try to sort it out myself, and uh, well, you know, driving me uh, driving me bonkers at the moment. I'm obviously missing something, or I've made a mistake but I'm stuck anyway so I've asked him I'm hoping he'll get back He's, he normally does and hopefully just just point me in the right direction which video the art you know the answer is and uh, quite happy to sit through it all again uh, to set it up but a little frustrating yeah very frustrating but it's all part of the fun hopefully I will get the message back from him fairly soon and we can crack on well, shame to end this video on a frustrating note, but that's how these builds go. Um, if you want to see how I get on live, if you like, then follow the Facebook page, and I'll be doing an update soon on that. But uh, as for now, thanks for watching this video. Cheers, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye now.